Hi, good morning Hayden. My name is Honey Whitefield. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 7th of August 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Hayden Smith. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 26211420. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. So let's start with warm-up questions. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. What are the biggest challenges, or issues, that nurses face today? In my opinion, the biggest challenges and issues facing by the nurses today are mandatory overtime, safe staffing levels, and workplace safety. The current nursing shortage has led to potentially dangerous practices, like mandatory overtime and unsafe staffing levels. This increases the stress on nurses, decreases the quality of patient care, and increases the likelihood of medical errors. What's your process for handling several tasks at once, while still providing great customer care? I've spent many years working in a hospital setting, so I'm very familiar with the intensity of being assigned several tasks at once. I'll take a deep breath and prioritize each task in order of importance and critical care that's needed of me. I try to keep a pen and paper to quickly write down each patient I need to see to ensure I don't forget each task. I'll start with critically ill or injured patients who need care right away. I'll meet with them and finish up my tasks as quickly as possible while being careful not to make any errors. How do you like working with a team? I thrive while working as a part of a team because of my ability to adapt. I find that working on a team allows for the best outcomes for patients. Everyone has a different way of looking at a problem and multiple perspectives can bring about creative solutions to issues. Also, working on a team motivates me because I enjoy celebrating the successes of others. Last, I feel confident in my abilities to work alone as well. What are your professional goals? My professional goals are as follows. Earn my MSN, join the Emergency Nurses Association, and become an emergency room nurse practitioner. I hope to mentor nurses and share what I have learned. I am excited about the opportunity to fulfill my goals. Last, I would like to advance into a management role as well, where I can oversee and train nurses. I feel drawn toward helping others grow and learn. Describe a situation where you were under a lot of pressure. I experienced pressure every day as an ICU nurse. On one occasion, I had to cover more patients than usual because of a co-worker calling out sick. I decided to create a list and prioritize care. By organizing and paying attention to detail, I was able to manage my increased workload successfully. After work, I often practice yoga so that I don't take any of the stress with me. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. Now you can start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning. I am Hayden Smith. May I know why you requested to see me? Good morning, nurse. I have received a letter from the health center offering a flu vaccination for my six-year-old daughter. I would like to get more information before making a decision. Sure, I am happy to explain the flu vaccination in detail to you. Before proceeding further, how may I call you? My name is Honey Whitefield. You can call me Honey. Thank you, Honey. There are several reasons for providing the flu vaccination, and it is very much essential for your child. The flu vaccination protects the developing immune system, thereby making your child more immune resistant. On the other hand, the flu vaccine is very effective against the most common strain of viruses and provides protection to your child. It also helps in reducing the spread of the flu. I hope it is clear to you. Yes, it is clear to me. But nurse, let me ask you a question. Sure, you may please. Would it be so bad? If my daughter didn't have the vaccination and got the flu, I acknowledge your concern, honey. The best way to answer your question is to give you an insight into the possible severity of the flu. If your child is not flu vaccinated, she may encounter a high fever followed by a persistent cough. She may also suffer severe joint pains along with other potential complications, for example, bronchitis, pneumonia, etc. Oh, I see. I didn't realize the flu could be so bad. Yes, honey, the flu can make your child sick and can affect her health badly. Nurse, I have heard that people can have side effects after getting the flu vaccination. Is it true? Your concerns are quite natural, honey. I can explain it to you. What you have heard is right. Almost all vaccines will have some minor side effects. Some of the possible mild side effects of the flu vaccination are runny nose, headache, tiredness, etc. Is it really safe to have them with these side effects? As a mother, I can understand your concerns. Definitely, I will address them for better clarification. Okay. Why the vaccination is having the side effects is that it is injecting the virus safely to the body so that our body's immune system can work against it to develop the immunity to becoming tolerant to the respective viruses. In this scenario, as part of vaccination, it is natural to have such minor side effects. However, I can reassure you that the flu vaccine is safe and has no chance of getting any serious side effects. Are you getting my points, honey? Yes, I understand that. That's perfect. Well, honey, I would like to know about your child's relevant medical history. Can I have them for better guidance? Sure, I am happy to provide them. Thank you. Have you noticed any reactions to her previous vaccinations? No, she was not having any illness and was perfectly all right after her previous vaccinations. Good to hear that, honey. And please let me know whether she has any current health issues. She is asthmatic. But I didn't think this was an issue. Thank you for your information. Your thoughts are sensible. Honey, flu vaccination is safe for asthmatic patients. So, try not to worry about it. Okay. Perhaps, I wish to tell you about the effect of flu on asthmatic patients. The flu viruses can trigger symptoms in the majority of asthmatic patients, hence making the condition much more severe than in normal individuals. Additionally, being asthmatic potentially increases the likelihood of severe attacks. Therefore, I strongly recommend flu vaccination for your child. All right. I understand your words, nurse. Do I need to address any more concerns for you, honey? No, nurse. The information was very useful, and my daughter will definitely be having the flu vaccination. I am glad that I could provide information and guide you through the importance of having a flu vaccination. Feel free for further queries. Thank you. Thank you. That is the end of your OHE speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.
Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.